Toyota today was hit with a $1.2 billion fine. The automaker admitted that it lied to customers and U.S. regulators about problems with Toyota and Lexus vehicles that caused the vehicles to accelerate wildly, leading to accidents and deaths. The head of the FBI's New York office said today, quote, Toyota put sales over safety and profit over principle. Here's Jim Axelrod. It is the largest penalty ever imposed on an automobile company. U.S. Attorney Preet Bharara oversaw the case. Toyota Motor Corporation is in that position because it cared more about savings than safety, because it cared more about its own brand and bottom line than the truth. Our accelerator stuck. It was this harrowing 911 call in 2009 that focused national attention on Toyota's problems with sudden acceleration in Camrys and other models. A highway patrolman and his family were killed in San Diego when he could not stop his Lexus. We're in trouble. We can't. Well, there's no brake. We're approaching intersection. Hold on. Pray. Pray. But Toyota now admits it knew as early as two years before that accident that the floor mat could trap the accelerator. Toyota also did not tell safety regulators about another problem in 2009, a sticky accelerator pedal that also caused accidents. At one point, government lawyers say, a Toyota employee told co-workers, idiots, someone will go to jail if lies are repeatedly told. I can't support this. That's exactly what David Kafua would like to see. They definitely should be heading to some sort of jail. His mother Maria was killed in Massachusetts, he says, when her Camry shot across three lanes of interstate traffic and was broadsided. Somebody's got to take accountability for it. But Barrara says nobody will go to jail if Toyota allows an independent monitor to review its safety practices. Essentially, Toyota will be on probation for three years. There will be no criminal charges if it implements safety reforms. Scott, the company, put out a statement today saying, quote, we have made fundamental changes to become a more responsive and customer-focused organization. Jim, thanks very much.